it's Jason from Ohio Ready Mix, and I'm pleased to be here today with Mike Adams from the Euclid Chemical Company. Um, Mike has uh, been a trusted vendor of ours for, what would you say, Mike, over 25 years? 30 years. 30 years, and I'm excited to have you here today. We sell uh, and represent a lot of Euclid products, from sealers to sealants and just a lot of various different things, but today we're uh, unleashing a new product, and that is Euclid Fibers. And a lot of people have questions, you know, what is this, what is fibers, or what is this product that you can put into concrete um, to enhance it and make it better? So I wanted to bring an expert in to talk to us um, you know, and the Ohio Ready Mix community about fibers. Um, so I'm going to ask that question of you, Mike. Why is fibers important to Ready Mix concrete? Uh, the issue with fibers is that it, it replaces a light, weight, light gauge mesh. And a lot of times you'll see contractors put on top of a vapor barrier, say for a basement floor, a garage floor, and it, it doesn't unroll properly, and it's usually sitting on the bottom where it does no good. Mm, okay. So these fibers actually can replace that. It's slab on grade, so it's not going to fall through the ground. And you put these fibers in, and it actually three-dimensionally reinforces, as well as helps keep with the tiny plastic shrinkage cracks on dry, windy days that you might see. It helps hold those together while the concrete's setting up. That's something the wire doesn't do. Oh, very good point. And, you know, wire, from what I've heard, is really expensive. You know, to sometimes to install, it's labor-intensive. Is that, a, is that a factor in this decision process as well? Not only that, but uh, wire to obviously rust. And people can walk by and possibly get a cut, a okay. rusty piece of wire. So okay. it could be a hazard OSHA-wise. Um, <laughs> it it's a commodity thing where prices do fluctuate a lot. So, you know, the fibers are uh, polypropylene, okay. you know, recyclable type material. Do you mind if we actually take a look at the fibers? Oh, please. Okay, well, we're going to open one of the bags right now. And I know there's a lot of people out there that sell fibers. What's different about this about this stuff right here? Maybe we'll have uh, our cameraman actually zoom in to, to kind of take a look at some of these fibers. These are uh, fibrillated fibers, and they, they actually form like almost a bridge. They won't totally break up. They form a little bridge that holds, three-dimensionally holds the concrete more homogeneously, holds it together. And I'm going to actually zoom in real quick while you're doing go. that. You go ahead. If I can pull this little piece right here, it actually expands. Almost like a fence. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look exactly. at that. So, you know, from a lot of other vendors that are out there, sometimes they're just one single strand. They're not really selling the real deal then, are they? This is fibrillated okay. and, and goes into a, a, a residential as well as commercial dose. Uh, the monofilaments have their place as well. Fibrillated definitely is a step up. Uh, for instance, the school board, the school association demand fibrillated fibers for school projects. As such, okay, okay. As opposed to monofilaments. They both do have their purpose. Uh, the other thing, as far as fibers go, polypropylene, nylon, you find different uh, rayon, different types of fibers made. The main difference, I, I really think, is who you're buying from, mm. how it's packaged. This is a pretty sturdy box. Uh, when you order it, are you going to get it in a couple days or are you going to wait a couple weeks? Okay. You know, how, how much do you have to control, keep an inventory before you're going to see another order? So a lot of that just customer service type stuff is as much anything that separates fiber manufacturers one from another because all the fibers do, do work. Yeah, and you know, there's a lot of things, you can go on the internet and buy anything, you know, today, and one of the things that I'm really proud about Ohio Ready Mix is that we work with a vendor like Euclid, and that we are being sure that the, the right kind of fibers are being used in the project, and also we take these bags, and that when the concrete is actually being loaded here at the plant, we're the ones adding these bags, so it's, you know, added at the proper time, it's thoroughly mixed throughout the load, because I've done a lot of reading in the industry, and one of the problems if you just kind of throw some fiber in out on the job, it may not get thoroughly mixed in your load. And what kind of problem does that create if it's not thoroughly mixed absolutely, in your load? Absolutely right. And the other thing you just made me think of, too, is you see how this is packaged. This is, we, we want this as simple for the drivers as possible, too. Okay. So when Scott or Juster take an order, they have the driver, if he's got eight yards on, grab eight bags of fiber. So we right. know the correct amounts going in as well. Other producers may get different size bags, and it can offer some confusion to the driver. So I kind of like the way you're doing it here with one bag per yard, no confusion. Yeah, well, no, that, that's great, and, and because we've we've worked a lot together over the past years, and it really has been a partnership, you know, working with Euclid. Okay. What are some of the things that you think maybe separate Ohio Ready Mix from other producers that are out there? Uh, personally, from my standpoint, I've enjoyed working with Jason's grandfather, his father, and now Jason. Uh, you know, my, I'm on my third generation with a, a family-owned business that obviously the youngest generation getting very involved in the new technology. Mm -hmm the new trucking system that they have here for tracking the trucks and becoming more efficient and, and saving dollars that we can pass on cost savings to the customer. Uh, just working with a family environment, working with a family company. It's been a pleasure. 
that's awesome. with, with your son someday, Jason. Yeah, that's that's really awesome, Mike. I'd love that. Thanks. Thank you again Absolutely. today for the interview. And uh, again, if you want to learn more about Fiber Mesh, I encourage you to check out our website at ohioreadymix.com. If you have any questions, we'd love to assist you uh, with your concrete needs. But fibers, Euclid fibers, are just really, really a great product, and uh, definitely appreciate serving you. Appreciate you watching our our video today.